Hello, my name is David Tipling. I've been an OM ambassador for a number of years now, and I've been a professional wildlife photographer for 32 years, and I sort of specialise in birds. I switched from heavy DSLR kit about five years ago to Olympus and now of course OM system and I switched really for the portability, the lightweight camera bodies and the lightweight powerful lenses and just all the technology as well that is packed into these mirrorless camera bodies and the whole system really suits my photo photographic style well because here on the North Norfolk coast I might be walking all day with my gear and I really don't feel like I'm carrying around a lot of heavy kit. I've been lucky enough to use the OM1 Mark II and this new lens, a 150 to 600 millimeter zoom lens, now for about a month. And I have to say, I'm very impressed. The camera uh, is an improvement over the OM1, particularly in the autofocus area. I would say that the autofocus for locking on to fast moving subjects like birds and sticking with them it's probably about 20% better than the OM1. So the autofocus in this Mark II is a step up on the OM1. Um, and another feature is the autofocus in the video. So we've got continuous autofocus in the video, which is really useful for uh, taking clips of birds uh, in flight in particular. I've been using it to film owls flying towards me and is superb at locking on and then I'm able to get a really nice sequence of the bird. It really doesn't miss a beat. So this is not the smallest or lightest lens in the OM system range. It does weigh just over two kilos. Um, but when you consider you're getting all that reach, then really it's nothing else out there that will give you the, the telephoto power of this lens. And to compensate for the weight a bit when I'm hand holding, I've got the battery pack on my OM1 and that just gives it a bit of balance. Uh, it feels just much better in the hand. And that's great when I'm in the hide here, I can just rest it on the, on the edge. And then when I'm out in the field, I'll often use a monopod with it. It just gives it a bit of extra stability and saves the weight on my arms. So it's winter out on the marsh at the moment and we've got a lot of our winter visitors here. Recently I got a lovely sequence of a swan taking off straight at the camera and this really uh, reinforced my impression of how the autofocus in this new OM1 Mark II has really improved a little because it locked onto that swan and I got 70 or 80 shots and it didn't miss a beat. Apart from the improved autofocus and picture quality with this camera, it's also got something else, a new feature that I think would be very useful. It would be fantastic for landscape photographers, but for wildlife photographers as well, I can see a use. And that's a graduated neutral density filter. And that will allow you to balance pictures where your subject might be in shadow and you've got a very bright background behind. And so I'm going to look forward to experimenting with that feature in the weeks to come. Camera technology never stands still, all is moving forward and it's really reassuring to see the advances that we've got in this new camera body with the improved autofocus and this lens now being able to go to 1200 millimeters in quite a compact form, it really does suit my photographic style quite well when I'm out and about here on the coast. 
because I feel like I can go out all day and I can cover every eventuality. I'd really encourage you to give this camera and this new lens a try. Thanks for joining me. I'm just going to get back to my photography now. <laughs>